the king of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagalfair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That March difficulty. Today, we're going on a quest to find the uh, infamous Sunstone, the item we need to lure the Nagalfar back to uh, Skalliga. And the Nagalfar is the ship that the Wild Hunt uses. So, uh, therefore, we need to ask Kroch where Ermion is and then we can ask Ermion if he knows where the Sunstone you might no be. So, hello, Kroch. Not Wolf, did you see? Black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Well, strike back, why don't you? So more. Where's Ermion? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. Oh, what the insults had you prepared. Say. Farewell. Okay, farewell. Croft, thanks for the tip. So we need to go to Madman Lugos. Um, which is actually something I want to talk about. Uh, there's a really cool side quest in the game that we... Oh shit. That was not supposed to happen. We're running away. So while we're running away, I can talk about this anyway. Um, <laughs> there's a really cool side quest that I can't do anymore because we uh, did the King's Gambit before I did a certain side quest. God damn it, this is annoying. But they should be uh, friendly to me in a minute. Uh, that's because I keep spamming X to sprint. Well, I shouldn't. So there we go. We're away. So since we... Uh, did the King's Gambit, Madman Lugos' son died and he was needed to uh, start off the Cave of Dreams side quest which should start after we uh, did the contract on the Phantom of Aldberg. Um, but sadly, because we did the King's Gambit first, that did not happen. So uh, if you want to do that quest, be sure to do the Phantom of Aldberg first, so that was the ghost on the on the near the lighthouse on the island near Arinbjorn, I think, uh, and then the uh, Cave of Dreams quest should start after you complete the contract. But hey, let's travel to Madman Lugos now, so there's nothing to stop me from going to right over there. So Kermweir, the uh, hometown of uh, Madman Lugos and his clan. I think they're just called Lugos, or do they have another name? Because they only say warriors. We've been here before for one of the uh, other side quests. Uh, but now, let's see uh, if we can't help out Ermion with his troubles with Madman Lugos himself. He's so apparently. On crate, never. That clear to you. You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding more hog than let crack rule all Skelliger. Ooh, your that's man, bad. What do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. I don't think he cares. What is it if not treason? Want to be king by the grace of Nilfgaard? What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Oh, when I can bite. From my head. Well, then go ahead. Try to take it. Get him. It won't be uh, that hard, I think. So let's start with that. There we go. Four dudes on fire. Did I hear a crossbow? There he is. You have no swords. There we go. Let's head off the stairs. 
I whack these guys on the stairs because they are at the disadvantage here. Oh, this is this is too easy. Because the bowmen are terrible fighters. Goodbye, Lugos. We should not stay here. No indeed. Let's see if Lugos doesn't have any cool loot. Elven Steel Sword, see that's cool loot. Uh, I'm not gonna check out the other ones, they probably only carry crap. Although I might check out these looty thingies, so give me a second. Well there was a, a lot of cool loot there, so uh, definitely loot that place, because I found a few pieces of diamond dust, a uh, special piece of armor, oh hi. Oh he lost his shield. Thanks, Hermion. God damn it. Burn, bitch. Ooh, in half. So, uh, let's loot the place while we're at it. Just gonna see what I can loot because there's a few enemies around here still. Oh shit! I missed that guy. Look at Dormian go. Stop hitting him, Ermion. Ooh, there goes his arm. But uh, Ermion sometimes causes me to not be able to hit the guy because his shield is back up by the time I can hit him. So, uh, are we in the clear right now or do we still need to go? So, are these guys going to be hostile as well? Because they don't seem hostile. Oof. That's an <laughs> I've upset the guards, but... Okay, they don't seem to care, probably. Apparently. Bye! We killed your leader. Goodbye. We had fun. Bye. See you next time. Okay, then that was weird. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. That was not Mean my fault, now was it? Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. Well, Lugos is dead, so... For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kaer Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. Yes, indeed. And that's the way we wanted it. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. <laughs> An agreement. Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this time. Yeah, we've never been able to Even reason with Lugos. For you. Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. That's great news, I suppose. But why have you Especially with the Nilfgaardians at your door. Um, how's Ceres? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. That Everyone won't take long, I suspect. Accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, he's charismatic like that. Um, so. 
to the matter at hand. Ever heard of the Sunstone? Listen, Hermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The mask of Ulbera's first now <laughs> the Sunstone. Sorry! Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshi Elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. Oh, we're going back to Arambjorn again? the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlong. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. So we've done that, actually. So, uh, Fishlung. Fishlung? We've been uh, pearl so diving already. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. How does that not make it personal? Familial, then? Thanks for the help, anyway. Thanks Urbian. for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. We've never been stopped Take by a magic sorcerers. barrier, so... You must have brought at least one along. Oh, <laughs> gaggle this time. Uh, we already God have five. Yes, us. indeed. God protect us, indeed. So, we're gonna talk to the bard known as Avent. And uh, we also need to talk to a pearl diver. I think I'm gonna try and go back inside. I don't think they mind. And use the warp point over here. So I'll see you guys in a second. So first stop, Aaron Bjorn. We're gonna head towards the bard and uh, have a little chat with him to see if he knows where we can find any of those ruins that Ermin was talking about. And there we go. And it looks like he's uh, looking out to see. Not now. To see the sea. To oversee the sea. What are you looking for? Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, hey, they mentioned something. Now, I've more important matters on my mind. You have? In my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. Okay. Um, what's this whale? What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath and... An icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Uh, Nilfgaard, Never but mind. you're not gonna get the reference. So, uh, well, I guess we'll watch Gevorg with you, the White Whale. Let's watch for Gevorg together. And you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. White whale? Oh, I tried to look around, sorry. Don't want to skip anything. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing too. Elsewise it have plundered it long ago like all the others. Oh, there it is. Uh, Avent. Avent? What? I... Uh, just <laughs> wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? He missed the white whale. Gathering a material for an adventure. Writing novel. an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the white fleet? Try my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Uh, got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long. And Good luck with the white whale. God damn it. You could have seen it today. Poor man. I'm sure of it. Yep. Poor, poor man. Oh, that's so sad. Is this a chest I can open? Oh, nah. Don't need that. So, uh, that apparently was enough. I don't even need to go to the pearl divers. So, uh, we'll meet up back with Yennefer so she can deactivate the magic barrier that seems to surround that cavern. And, uh,. Well, I'll see you guys there in a minute. So, back at uh, Care Troll the Harbor. The sorceresses should still be near the boat, so uh, 
Let's have a chat. Hello, Yennefer. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Okay. Hi, honey. Going somewhere. Romantic love interest? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Yeah, we figured Earlier, that already. We were in the aisles together. Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there. To retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Yes, indeed. So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Now? Fine. Where is it? Okay. On a small aisle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Sounds like a plan. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Well, it's a perfect opportunity for that, isn't it? I suppose. Uh, I don't think she needs any convincing anymore. Irritating she can be. <laughs> Come, Siri. Goodbye, Philippa. And we're gonna come. We wait there. No, no, can't I? God damn it! Can't I just join you through the portal? Oh, this is such a hassle. So uh, the quest now changed to Child of the Elder Blood. While, uh, well, God damn it! While the Sunstone is still active, I kind of forgot about that quest in the meantime, but. So uh, we're gonna do that first, Child of the Elder Blood, and have a, have a little look-see into uh, Avalok's laboratory. So let's see how close we can warp towards it. So see you guys there in a minute. And because of the, uh, well, the amazing option to uh, buy all the maps, I could actually warp towards this island immediately. The Gapli Coast, I think it's called. So, uh, look at that, straight at the ent entrance of a secret laboratory. Hello! Oh god, two golems. The entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. Yes, of course we will, but... Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. <laughs> Okay, because that was indeed Syria and Yennefer didn't get along at the beginning. Uh, so let's talk to Yennefer. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. Yes, indeed. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. And we're... You were yeah, here yeah, immediately yeah. and we needed to travel to this island, so to speak. So, uh, wait for the door to open. I'm going to suppose these guys are going to activate. We've awoken the century. Yeah, there we go. I'll take care. So that's elemental oil. So let's go along with that. As usual, elemental oil on the sword. Uh, I wonder if Siri is going to help me. Yeah, she is. Because this is not going to be a, a problem with Siri helping me out. And with a few earth signs on the ground. Let's put the earth sign here. Ooh, Siri took the hit there. I think my quiet sign just worked it. Stop there. I'm gonna assume the other one is gonna wake up as well. Come on. Wake up. Come? Oh, okay, never mind. One sentry only. So that's a ransack this place. Uh, there's also another Very important cozy. decision Doesn't look much coming like up. At all. Working that towards the, the one of the that. endings. But I'll uh, notify you when we're Dick. at that decision. Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Yeah, it was your suggestion, so. Portrait of Siri, I think. No. 
That's not me. Where's the scar? I think it's that's a portrait of uh, hmm. really Lara you. Doran, sure, her ancestor. You for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, I don't see him treasuring the concept of love, but kind of looks like her, doesn't it? Anything else? We have whatever this is. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Yennefer saw something clearly. What is it, honey? It seems someone was literally just here. Okay then. And since you've been in front of the door for pretty much a day, um, an assistant maybe? Avalak's assistant maybe? No. Somehow it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. You think? Mm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. <laughs> Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. I think that was on purpose. Not very incriminating. Wait, we've not examined the entire laboratory yet. That's true, but uh, don't get overly excited here, Yennefer. Um, what else is there? There's a brush, and Avalog doesn't seem like the guy that yeah, brushes his hair. Somebody's bedroom. I think he has some spell for that, right? Uh, wow, this place is actually pretty big. Ooh, another bag. Another glyph. Which we will be able to use in a few episodes if we... Because uh... I think in Hearts of Stone we can combine glyphs and stuff like that for more power. Yeah. But we'll uh, see about that when we get to it. What's this? Oh, would you look at that. It's a lineage. How do you say that in English? Wow, it's big. Genealogical chart of the N. A genealogical the chart blood from Laura Doran. I somehow feel there should be a easier word for that. The full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron, or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Which is, uh, crazy. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... In what Geralt mentioned. The work of those human mages. Of course not. Hmm. She hesitated for a second, so let's look at his notes. Let's look at his notes. Anything of interest there, Yennefer? Gods. We spent over two centuries on this. He's old. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Siri, but it's here later that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Siri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That sounds incredibly that I ought creepy. To be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings. Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique, and that's why we've the Wild Hunt to contend with. Let's yeah, indeed. On. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Yeah, because we still have the matter of the uh, the fact that somebody else was here. So the assistant of some kind. Maybe move the place a bit. It's not that amazing, but at least it's something. Um. Ooh, a mirror. That's not so uh, incredibly cool as I made it sound, but. Ooh, the perfume is. Mm -hmm. I'll sure know their fragrances. I think Yennefer just said someone's there. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. In the mirror? Hello? Anyone here? Hi. There's someone there. A lady. 
So maybe more than his assistant. His uh, concubine. How did you get in here? Uh, through the front door. What are you, your boobs doing? They were animating weirdly. Um, we mean no harm. We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. Okay. You. I remember you. From Tiernaliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd well, she lives here, but... He's told me a great deal about you. Who are you exactly? Um... Siri, let's go, or for example... Well, I kind of want to know... Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. Ooh, she's gonna get bitch slapped in a second. I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. Ooh. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate <laughs> To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Um, I want to slap her in the face. Oh, Can I slap her in the face? And I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. To spend this time with you, probably. So, uh, I think now... About now is the fourth so deeply. Why didn't he tell decision we face? need to make towards the ending. Um, didn't actually believe her, did you? Or he that important to you? Of luck means that much to you. What's that got to do with anything? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. <laughs> Sorry. A bit like mommy and daddy issues, doesn't it? Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Take it Shame easy. I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Okay then. Well, why don't you? Go for it. So that's actually the positive choice. Because the other one is uh, putting a necklace of Lara Doran around her neck, which is actually the negative choice in this um, scenario. But now, Gerald is gonna start something. There we go. And there's that smile, almost. Almost. There it is. Yeah. Let's destroy this place. He can kiss our asses. I don't know what Yennefer thinks about this, but I don't think we care about the moment. Flip the table. Fun, at least, to let out a bit of energy. And even Yennefer is starting to enjoy this, I think. Oh, look at that. Destroy that. Set it on fire. Set it on fire. Come on. Set the painting of Avalach on fire. I want you to do it. That was fun. <laughs> and I think Yennefer approves. Even for a little bit. Uh, 
That's actually a bit of music I never... <laughs> okay, that's also great. Because uh, when I did this the first time, I uh, gave her the necklace and not did this, so I didn't really know what's gonna, what was going to happen. But I know it's the positive choice. That was great, actually. So uh, let's go back outside in the laboratory, and, and apparently we need to talk to Siri again. Um, but she did enjoy herself. Don't know where that elf woman went to, that she allowed us to destroy the place. But hey, don't really care right now. And she's wet again. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindusfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And this and is I actually... The fifth important decision. What is it, Siri? Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. And we well, kind of resurrected it to me. interrogate it. I'd like to... to say goodbye. Of course, Siri. Yeah, I'll go with you. So saying I'll no would be another you. negative choice, and that's the final Thank choice you. we need to make, actually. You open a that decides the, uh, the ending. I can. Also indicating that we're really close to that ending. So let's go, Siri. Let's do this. Come back soon, alright? Mm -hmm. See you. Goodbye. So in total, the five decisions are the relatively fresh grave mound. snowball fight. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Sorry, Siri. So the first decision that you need to make is the snowball fight versus the drinking. The second one is going to Emir and refusing the money instead of, well, taking the money. Uh, the third one is uh, going, letting Siri talk to the sorceresses on her own instead of going with her. The fourth one is making a mess in Avalok's lab instead of giving her the necklace of Lara Doran. And the fifth one is going to visit Skjall's grave instead of refusing it. So those are the five decisions that determine which ending you will receive together with the fact uh, who is still alive in the... In the matter of kings, so if Radovid is dead or not, and if Dijkstra is leading Redania or not, because that also influences what the ending will be. So uh, let's look together. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave, Geralt, Which we kind of already, uh... Him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. We kind of expected that already, uh, already, because Skjall had been, what? uh, King evicted village. from the village. There's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Okay. That must be it. There he is. Ooh, that must be... painful. But at least uh, he got a proper burial now. Because if you remember, we kind of kissed Skjall when we were in the flashback with Siri. And there's uh, apparently people coming closer. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. Um, your laws don't bind us. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Ooh, punch in the face. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. 
Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. Yeah, because it's kind of your fault he's dead, people of uh, Lofoten. So eat it. We were right to come. Yes, indeed we were. He's deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Oh, hi, dear. Holy. My Let's eyeballs. Go. That was a... Um... <laughs> okay, that was great. That was perfect timing. Holy shit. Uh, let's go together. Back to the boat. Mm. Oh god, that deer was amazing. Skjall's grave complete. So we completed two quests in this episode. We did the Child of the Elder Blood and Skjall's Grave at the same time. Well, one after the other. So we're back in uh, Care Troll the Harbor. And uh, now we need to meet Philippa in the Elven Ruins. But that will be for next episode. Which will, uh, hopefully this time, we're going to go after the Sunstone. Because we've been sidetracked a bit. But, in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode in which we'll uh, hopefully find the Sunstone. Goodbye!